Joining us now, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin. Good to be with you, Brad. Senator so Joe Manchin Senate is known for being at odds with members of his own party, and he used an interview on Fox News to cement that reputation. If I can't go home and explain it to the people of West Virginia, I can't vote for it. And I cannot vote to continue with this piece of legislation. I just can't. Without Manchin's support, there are not enough votes to pass President Joe Biden's at least $1.5 trillion Build Back Better bill, which includes universal preschool, a plan to lower drug prices, more than $500 billion for clean energy, and a tax credit for the purchase of U.S.-made electric vehicles. I would have hoped that we could have had at least 50 Democrats on board who have the guts to stand up for working families. The White House is furious. The press secretary said in a statement, Manchin's comments represent a sudden and inexplicable reversal in his position, and we will continue to press him to see if he will reverse his position yet again. In Canada, a very different reaction. You know, right now, uh, Canadian interests are well served by what the senator has said he would do. Let's wait and see if he sticks to that. Ottawa is opposed to the electric vehicle tax credit since it would entice auto producers to choose the U.S. over Canada for new investment, meaning lost Canadian jobs. Ministers have lobbied American lawmakers pleading with them to change or scrap that section of the bill. While these developments help, auto industry leaders say Canada can't relax yet. We're on DEFCON 1 for Canadian prosperity and we've gone back and forth over the last few weeks. I think we should do, continue to do the same thing. The EV tax credit is the biggest irritant in the Canada-U.S. relationship. Ottawa will now watch to see whether the White House can get Senator Manchin back on board or whether it draws up a new, smaller legislation package. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.